I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here at Elkhart Open House showing you guys some of the newest features, the latest and greatest models. And today, we are taking a look at one of the best fifth wheels in the entire planet. This is a 2023 Heartland Bighorn model 3700 RL. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're going to give you three things we love about the Bighorn and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. We are taking a look at the Bighorn. There's some new and improvements and let me tell you, the luxury fifth wheel market is getting super exciting. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What the heck's going on with this weather? I it's hot, know. it's cold, it's wet, it's rainy, yep. then it's nice. Yeah. It's crazy. How are you today? I'm doing good. So I'm excited to take a look at this Bighorn. There's a lot of new stuff coming out in the industry right now. And um, we'll see some of those features on this. So it's just really exciting times in the RV industry. Exciting times right. in every industry, Will. That's right. Let's begin. Okay. Model is 3700, Will. Okay. The actual tip tip length is 39 feet 7 inches. The dry weight's 13,200 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,800 pounds. Well, right up here we do have a beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. This is the Bighorn. There is a difference between the Bighorn and the Bighorn Travelers. Yes. This one's definitely the better one, a little bit higher end. Right here we do have the Kurt Rotoflex trailer, Rotoflex pin box right there. Okay. Storage right there, generator prep right there, and more storage there. Cool. Now, because we're here at Open House, obviously the reviews won't be the exact same as if yeah. we were at a dealership. Right here, we do have our propane tanks, and we do have six-point hydraulic auto leveling. Very which nice. Is, well, I just stole the words right out of your mouth. I say I? very nice. You don't say <laughs> very sorry. nice. Actually, it's funny. Did you know how often we say very I nice? Know. People comment it all the time. <laughs> Somebody told me that at the Hershey show. What'd they I say? Said that to them. And oh, they were yeah. like, see, you're just like on TV. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yes, sir. Right here. Very nice storage. <laughs> I did that one on purpose. Right here, we have our auto leveling. Okay. Okay. Very nicely in my store. <laughs> I mean, this is what I say. And then this is what I love, the Furion Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. Yes. Both Will and I added these aftermarket to our RV. Um, this episode is sponsored by Lipper. No Lipper commercial today, guys. Uh, guys, this Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater is amazing. If you don't have this on your coach, get it. Right there, that's where we link up your pet, tether them okay. down. This is pretty cool. I haven't seen this online. Yeah. You know the nice i do like oil. that yeah uh because this is a heartland they do use asdell asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you okay and right here well we do have these nice solid steps with hydraulic assist nice not only that well right there the side marker light you can get the furion cameras cool and then look at these tires well they're good here endurance tires i love those 255-85 r16 with the Morai CRE 3000 suspension. And well, there's something different about the axles, isn't there? Yes, it sure is. Let's kick it over to the factory rep and uh, see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Matt Doppelmeyer, general manager of Bighorn and Heartland RV. Yes, sir. And so what's new about these axles this year? So Dexter has this new um, anti a ABS system. It's a sway control system. It's called the Dexter Tow Assist ABS. Okay. So we're going to be the first brand in the luxury fifth wheel market to do a standard. Wow. Um, we're kind of featuring in it as uh, our customer safety isn't an option to us. So we're going to go standard. Standard. That's so huge. Now there is a few manufacturers out there that are making it as an option. Correct. But as you guys know, when things are options, expensive options, not all manufacturers are putting it on. So the fact that you guys are doing that standard, it's pretty cool. Anything else that you want to touch on about it? Um, in regards to the uh, suspension as a whole, we also ended up upgrading the Goodyear tires, the Goodyear Endurance tires. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. All right, coming on down, uh, here's the different floor plans that the uh, big horns have to offer. And then look at this, they got some coming soon, okay. but, they bring, but they didn't bring them here, did they? Nope. Or is this this one? Um, oh no, this be. is the one that we're in. We're in the TBD world debut right here. Hang on a second. No, we're in the 3700. Oh uh, man. 3700. When are you coming out with this one, Todd? We're uh, actually still working on these. I don't know what I can see. Like these, these are our next two that are in development. So we'll see these in uh, late October, November. This will come after that. Is this new or no? 
Is this yeah, 700? Says, yes. Yes. Okay. If it's not new, we're not doing it. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else you've been listening? Did we miss anything that you want to mention about this? No, you mentioned ABS uh, systems, right? If yep. You took care of that. So yep. Power cord reels back in the back now again, finally. So we're happy about that. Good. Cool. Good. Let's go around back and check Sounds it out. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Coming around the back, we do have a hitch, 300 pound hitch, good for a bike rack. Prep for a Furion backup camera. And it doesn't have a ladder, but if you saw that other ladder, and we'll show it to you again, okay. the telescoping um, Lippert ladder, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Then coming around here, this is what Todd was talking about. 50 amp power cord on a reel. Guys, these power cords are heavy, yeah, and I are. hate them. All I want to do is push a button to get them in. That's right. Very nice. Coming on down. Clean on the outside well. It is. Right here, that's where you dump your sewer. Over here. You have your uh, outdoor shower, city water connection, black and gray tank dump. Right there is your um, water purifier. There's that ladder to go. Other side of storage. And propane. Come on, Will. Okay. Oh, there's that ladder. Here's the ladder. Sure does look like a U-step, doesn't it? It does. But U-step don't pay us no more than Lipper does. So <laughs> welcome, welcome to the family, Lipper. <laughs> Well, let's go take a look at the inside. All right. <laughs> take a look at it. Sounds good. All right, starting up front, we have the bedroom. Right next to the bedroom is the bathroom. And then coming down, you got the kitchen, living room, and dining area all in one. Well, it sure does look like a U-step ladder. But U-step don't pay us no more. Lippert does. So welcome to the family. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jen. How's it feel? Oh, it's very comfortable. So this is heated massage and reclined seats. Very mm. nice. Very nice. We already did our Lippert commercial, so we're just rolling through. Right. Dad, if you could, get that top storage for us. Okay. Very nice. Nice storage of... Whoop. Nice glass. I thought it was going to be soft clothes. He, he puts the avatar from our trivia last night, Mega Gorilla. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you guys go to Olive Garden or, or Texas Roadhouse, you know those Zuski's uh, pay tab things? Well, they got trivia on it, and then you got to pick your name, and Will's name is Mega Gorilla. <laughs> uh, right here is the balances. They kind of look like a computer circuit board. Balance yeah, test. Oh, yeah. Denied. Yeah, it's kind of weird to be like honest. A, and it looks like a Metro line map. <laughs> right. It does. Right. Well, see, my dad worked at Metro, so now I want to like it, but I still don't like it. Nice FCD shades right here. I don't know why, but there's an urn in here, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. Right here we have USB and Jeep power and everything. Very nice tri cushion sofa. The Coastal Comfort Collection, it does come out to make a bed. Three big windows and everything, and there's more power in USB there as well. Very nice. You're gonna go sit with your wife, Will. Okay. Oh. Dun, dun. Cup holders. <laughs> right. Remote holders. There's a cell phone holder there. Oh, Wire nice. Charger. Wireless charger. It works, I tested it. Heated seats, massage seats. I Try bet you were that. using the heat today, weren't you, Jen? Oh, I it's am. It's chilly. Yeah, yeah it's cup cold. holders on both sides. Very nice, Will. And what's really nice uh, about these seats is it is directly across from the entertainment center. And guys, it's it's chilly outside. It's not cold. It's just chilly. Yeah, yeah. And so to have that awesome 47-inch fireplace is so great because that is pumping out some heat just to take the chill off the air. That's right. Over here, we have a sound bar. Nice drawers right here. Very cool solid surface countertops here with another wireless phone charger. Right here, we got the button for the televator. And then here, we have storage all right here, which very is very, nice. yes sir. I hate that. Oh, yeah. We keep saying very nice, Jen. I know. Jen, why don't you show us the kitchen with Will? Okay. Do you think it's Walsh, very nice? Come on, Jen. It's Wal very Walsh nice, it's great, it's fantastic. <laughs> While she's getting ready, I'm gonna show you guys the dinette. Big dinette, two seats, very, Nice. nice, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's really no other word for it. Dude, I hate the person that called us out on that because now that's all I think about. Right. But it's really nice, a good size, big boy tested, big boy approved, 
and I like all the big windows and everything. We'll Jen take it away. Okay. All right. Over here, this is kind of like your pantry area. Nice big pantry, huh? Right, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coming over here, storage up top. Up. Okay. Oh, oh. I noticed that these are like very strong cabinet doors. Okay. Yeah. Storage up there, not the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and then some more over here. We have a nice Samsung microwave. I don't think it's convection. That is not convection, yeah. Regular microwave. Down here, this is an interesting backsplash. I actually kind of like it. It has that like boho look to it. Right. And then solid surface countertops, really pretty. Some drawers here. Okay, so the drawers are soft closed, but the doors are not. Yes, be wary of the doors. Okay. All right, and then we have a three burner uh, propane suburban cooktop. Oven down here. Is this a turkey worthy? That's not I don't, turkey I don't worthy. think so. Nope. But it does, I like the look of this. I mean, like, turkey test it. I mean, I have no turkey to test it with. Well, no, no, but, but, well, Say turkey well. tested. Oh, turkey tested. Turkey denied. Yeah. Turkey womp, womp. Denied. No gobble today, guys. No gobble. All right, a drawer underneath there. I like the look of this suburban uh, oven, though. Oh, I showed that. Okay. Outlet over here. Another outlet um, underneath that cabinet. Okay, it's hard to see. Yeah. And then we have some more storage to the right of the oven. Cool. And then over here on the island, this is a really big island, tons of counter space next to your sink here. We have a nice big one bowl sink, pull down spray faucet. And then over here we have some drawers. We have some storage under there. Nice. Oh, wow. Well, look what we got here. What is it? A nice Fisher Bacal dishwasher. There you go. Hey, that's standard now. Right. Is it nice? Yep. And then more storage underneath there. Okay. Oh, gosh, I, I'm not I know. I soft clothes. We have a little bit more space up above the fridge cool. here. You're not used to it, huh? It's not as easy not, <laughs> you know. All you guys. I was blaming Mega all Gorilla. You, all you people on the internet always yell at me for slamming doors. It's not they that do. easy. Right. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, and you were getting mad at me calling me a mega gorilla. gorilla. Now I look like a mega gorilla. All right, we have, uh, what was the brand of this? Samsung, I believe, other side. Mm -hmm. Insignia. Oh, Insignia. Insignia residential refrigerator. Here's your freezer. Cool. All right, take it away. Yes, and then right here is just a coat closet. Okay. You know, there's something simple about buttons that I just yes. really like. Just pushing buttons. Jen, you did a fantastic job. <clears throat> Coming on up here. Uh -oh. Here. There we go. Look, it's washer dryer prepped in a slide. Right. Very nice. Yeah. And I, you know, I feel like it's in a good area. I don't know. It's kind of awkward to be honest. I don't honest. do laundry. Jen, is this a good area? I like it, but I don't like the doors. Right. Yeah. I wish it was like a barn door or a pocket door. Right. We'll talk about that a little later. Over here, coming on through, we do have... Very nice shower. Encore. Oh, we love encores. Go. Yes, we do. Nice teak seat. Plenty of width. The uh, skylight's in the right space. Yep. Spot. It's definitely passes. Ding! That's the shower test seal of approval. Yeah, I nice love it. Head it's head. actually one of my favorite showers I've ever seen. It really is. Very nice looking. Over here, got a nice medicine cabinet. All this good stuff. Solid surface countertops. Okay. Storage underneath there. Okay. Porcelain. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And Will, somebody else did comment on our vid uh, at Hershey. By the way, it's great meeting everybody at Hershey. Mm -hmm. uh, sh start showing these. Oh, okay. This does have the fans in it right there. Yeah, it's hard to see, but... Yep, very nice. And then coming on in here in the master bedroom, we do have a king-size tilt-up bed. A big storage on that side. Yeah. Picture frame and everything. A nice little drawer. It's a 72 by 80 bed. Over here, we have some storage here. Some storage there. Nice drawers. There you go. Over here, this is where a big old TV would go. Again, another fireplace. 30 inch Furion fireplace. And we have some drawers there. Nice. Well, floor construction, jump here. So jump there. Really? I can't really jump to be oh. honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does feel solid. There you go. If the sticker says it, it must be true. That's right. Over here is just a little closed closet here. And again, okay. not big and there's no washer dryer prep for up here. Nope. 
Very nice. Well, 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 that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Dislike. Well, let's just get the first one out of the way. Okay. Again, this is a great unit, so it's hard to find dislikes, but it I is. will agree. I don't like how big these doors are. Um, when you say barn doors, you mean like they fold here as well, right? No, barn doors slide. Oh, yeah, like, oh but slide? But that would work too. The fork, no, the slide, yeah, something. Different doors, just to give you more space so you don't feel like you're boxed in doing laundry. It's like the floor, the floor panel where each door like folds <clears> Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. bad. That's the slide number one. Well, I think you're going there for dislike number two. Here? Yep. Uh, oh, this? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this trailer has the toe kickers, unfortunately. Don't like that. Yeah, you guys know we don't like that. Um, you know, it's not the most terrible, but still, it's not great either. I Maybe hear like you. Flush floor. Well, that's dislike number two, and do you have a dislike number three? Not really. Do you, Jen? Yes. Okay. Oh. Well, it's not a big dislike. Talk to us. I outside either. I'm not crazy about some of the decor okay. choices in here. Like, it feels like a lot of, like, black and white. And like the, I don't like the balances. Like, okay. It's like it's so close it could have been there, but then and then like the, I'm getting those zebra shade vibes from that door. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, it's not that. a huge dislike. Yeah, no, but, it, it's a good dislike, and I can combo that well with um, you know, looking across the Bighorn Travelers, they're not frameless windows, and this is a regular Bighorn. Give me frameless windows. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Just for some more aesthetics and differential haters. That's three things that we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And well, did we give an MSRP yet? We did not. So we don't know what it is because we're here at open house. But Miss Jen here, that is the MSRP for this unit. Thank you, Jen, yeah. the sound effects. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Well, first and foremost, number one thing I'm going <laughs> to say I love about it is this tow with confidence. I agree. Dexter, EBS, electric brakes. Again, this is new to me, so I'm, I'm not saying that I know a lot about it, but it sounds like it's awesome, and it sounds to me like a lot of high-end fifth wheels are going to start doing this, putting it on there. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Especially when it comes to towing, man. It's just safety. Right. That is like number one. Will, like number two? Like number two, I'm going to go with the kitchen in here. Talk to me. Oh, I love specifically this big island. Not only that, the pattern of yeah. it is different I do like and the nice. Countertops. What do you think of the countertops? I like them. Okay. Yeah, they're really pretty. Cool. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah. Short and sweet. That's number two. Jen, do you have a number third? I do. Talk to me. You want me to take you into the bathroom? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. I didn't hear what you guys were saying about the bathroom. It, it's funny because that was going to be my number third. Okay. Well, I was looking through this when you guys were outside, and I really like... I just think they did a good job with this layout, and I the shower is really, not, really nice. My favorite thing is the sink because I just always hate when it's like a small yeah, sink. Yeah, you're right. And I just think it looks like really elegant. They like made it like a part of the countertop and it's a big yep. sink and tons of counter space. So. That's a good point. Very yeah. good point. Not only that, it, again, I, I mentioned this when Will was in it. That is one of the nicest looking showers. And again, the size is great, but like the whole color the look. scheme. The it makes shower it system's really nice. Yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in Bighorn, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're here. We're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, it's so nice seeing all the new latest and greatest here. And um, we'll be still bringing them to you for the next probably week, two weeks. We don't know yet. Yep. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like and the three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you. And Will, we are running out of time. Uh -oh. So we might need some videos of just you two tomorrow. Okay. Kind are of. You up for it, Jen? I'm ready. Kind All of right. Matt's RV Reviews liaisons. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. You know, extension 44. Right. So. Yep. Thank you guys. Absolutely everybody so much for watching. Will, Jen, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.